around a four hour flight from Atlanta to Phoenix. So we're almost in Phoenix and I can actually see the mountain we're gonna go to. It's a perfect day in Phoenix. No clouds in the sky, warm weather, pretty nice. So I'm here in Arizona for a week. Today is mostly travel day. I need to find the car rental place, get my car, and then drive another two and a half hours north to a city called Flagstaff. From there, that's where a lot of the activities that I want to do are. Alrighty, so Avis gave me a 2022 Honda Accord. Let's get on the road. All right, finally made it. Room is pretty standard, two queen size beds, nothing too crazy, but um, here's that mountain that I was talking about that you could actually kind of see from the plane. It's beautiful. I'm gonna grab some water bottles and snacks here. Four hour flight, two hour drive. I'm absolutely exhausted, but successful travel day. All right, it is early in the morning and it looks like we're gonna get some snow today. The snow's been coming down most of the morning at a pretty consistent rate. They've cleared the roads. Weather Channel said it's gonna warm up later, but the mountains are now completely gone and we have travel plans today. So the plan is first and foremost to get some food. Second is to try and get to the Grand Canyon today. We talked to some people, the roads are good going up to the Grand Canyon today. And as you can kind of see, snow stopped and weather looks pretty good for today. So the sign said that this was the last gas station for 50 miles. So we need to fill up because there's not much out here. here lines are pretty short going into the Grand Canyon it's hard to see in the other shots but it's still coming down pretty hard so I'm in roads look good all things considered need to find a parking spot you can tell who's been camping here or who's been staying overnight based off the ice on their car still a lot a lot on the ground to the south rim we go so if you yeah, look out you can see this huge huge rain system just sitting in the canyon but on the other side perfectly clear it's kind of hard to see in the recording, but you can actually see through the rain. But on this side, it's perfectly clear. It's kind of kind of trippy. It's really hard to put into context the scale of everything and how large the canyon is and how large that rain system is. They're both huge. So we were told that further down the road, you can actually get a better view of the canyon and it's much clearer. This is called, I think, the Grand Canyon Village. There's different stops along the sides of the Grand Canyon, but this one's just kind of further down the road, so we're gonna check it out. Much, much, much more clear from this side. So you can still kind of see the rain system way off in the distance, but you can get really kind of a better view at the scale of the canyon. So videos just truly don't give it justice. It's just, it's absolutely jaw-dropping. It, it, it almost seems surreal. It's amazing. So we've been following the weather and there's actually kind of a bad front that's coming in. So I'm gonna leave a little bit earlier and then kind of come back at a later date and kind of finish exploring here because there's still so much we haven't done, but the weather is getting bad and I need to head back. Visibility is really, really bad. This is gonna do it for part one, but um, yeah, this is, this is a pretty nasty snowstorm. 